Hi, I am going to show you how you can add Facebook SDK in your build box projects specifically for app install campaigns. I am assuming you have already exported the project from build box. Let's get started. First you need to visit developer portal of Facebook. Search for iOS SDK in a search bar. Oops, sorry not SDJ. My mistake. You will see your downloads link in there. Download the latest SDK. And save it in your desktop. Unzip the file you just downloaded. Now copy all the files from the folder and then paste it in your documents folder. You need to create a folder in your documents section as you see it here. Go to getting started. You need to add your bundle identifier in your Facebook app. You can do that by pressing Facebook dashboard button and it will take you to your developer dashboard where you can create your app. I have already created it. Go inside your app and add iOS platform. I have already added it. You can find bundle identifier in your Xcode project as well. We already finished step 2. Now we need to add SDK path into Xcode build settings. Copy the path link and then paste it inside framework search path under build settings. Now we need to copy frameworks in our project. Go to your documents folder where you have your SDK. Then select these four framework files and drag them in your framework folder in your Xcode project. Make sure you are selecting the right ones. Paste them in and then select finish and make sure you have destination checked. Now that we have added all the framework files and there are no errors far. We are good. Let's go to next step. So now we need to add this info in our .plist file and there is an easy way to do that. Let's go in quick start for iOS. Now select your app. Scroll down and you will see your section says configure your info.plist. Copy the first block and then go to your Xcode project folder. Find the .plist file and open this file in some text editor. I use Sublime Text Editor. You can use whatever you like. When you open your .plist file in text editor, then you need to paste the code under dict block. Now save the file and close the editor. Let's add some code. Copy this line and paste it inside your app controller.mm. Now we need to find this piece of code in our app controller. Copy this small block and paste it. Now we need to find this big block of code. And under this one we need to copy and paste this block. Last step is to add this block of code inside our app controller. That's all we need to do. So far we have no errors, but wait. Let's run this project and see if we have any errors. So we have some. What do we do now? Let's see what we did wrong. Everything looks fine to me. Oh wait. We have some problem here, we need to check this box for each framework. Let's run this again and see if the arrows are gone. Alright, they are gone. Cool. Now let's see if SDK is successfully installed or not. For checking this we need to go inside our Facebook dashboard and find the app and select it. Go inside your app and scroll down where you see last mobile app installs block. It will take few seconds to register your app. Refresh few times and you will see this updated like this. So we have new install registered. That's all, we have Facebook SDK installed properly. Comment below if you have questions. Thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe to our channel. 
See you later.